back. So medium-sized gray things. Oh, lots of them. Hello, guys. I want to see if maybe we can find them from here. Ah, oh, lots of you. There's lots of water buck all around us. There are one, two, three, four, five, maybe six males in total all throughout. And they're looking quite gorgeous in this afternoon light. So I'm just hoping they're going to come back in. And they're looking healthy as well. Now, it's not rare for male water bucks to, to be all together. Like, like the zebras we saw earlier on, they often, the males, they stay together for safety. But they have a very strict hierarchy, especially amongst water buck. Sorry, well, they will know who's who's number one, who's number two, and who's number three. So a lot of the times, they, even the youngsters, they don't really bother when they see somebody bigger than them because they already know that they stand no chance whatsoever. Beautiful. Now I wonder where are you guys going? You don't seem to be too decisive in terms of what you want to do. Maybe they are also joining us in a request to go to Treehouse Dam. <laughs> it's all roundy about the water box, the horns, the rump. All of it. Now there are another two that are also seeming to want in this particular direction, but they're hiding behind some bushes, so we're just gonna give them time. Maybe we'll be able to have a view. No? Come on, guys. Steffi, you're saying that they have such nice horns. Well, they do, and funny enough, or if you're looking for a bit of trivia, the water bug is actually the the symbol animal that's on the logo for the Savvy Sand. So I don't think we could have asked for a more appropriate one. Now I see the next two are slowly going to start coming into our screen. So hopefully we'll be able to have a nice view of them. There they go. So. We've got an older one. Hey, why, why are you so nervous? Did you see a lion earlier today? You see, such a typical response. One started running and the other one wasn't really sure what was happening, but I might as well run because lions might be around here. So in case of <laughs> some of the antelope species, it's a case of run, ask questions later. Because you never know what's around the corner, what the other one has seen that could potentially want to eat you as well. I wonder if you guys bumped into Mbula, because apparently Mbula likes eating you too. Catherine, you say that they've got a circled bottom. Well, yes, they do. It's believed to be, or the hypothesis is that it's a follow me sign and it allows group members to follow each other, especially if they go in uh, grass that's a little bit longer. So it gives them a focal point that they can focus on as they move through the grass. Right. Uh, seems like they have been walking through the bushes. So let's see if maybe we can bump into them again on the other side or just around the corner. Or who knows, maybe we'll find something else around the corner. Always nice to see water buck. And they, I know we've been discussing smell and scent in the last few days. And water buck are one of those creatures that have that smell, that very strong smell to them. I don't know how I would describe it. Probably like a wet dog would be. It's just, it's a, yeah, it's a very strong smell for such an antelope. And it's because of the, of the glands in their body that they produce an oil that coats their, their skin or their fur, rather. When compared to some of the other animals, take to water when they're trying to flee from a potential predator. Yeah, maybe you guys actually bumped into the wild dogs. But I think the wild dogs are still a bit too small for you guys. Or I think you might be safe. Now, I know the sun is not in the greatest direction, so I'm sorry, Seb. I'm trying all your skills here. <laughs> ah, but look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes, backlit is stunning. I think you're winning. Look at you. You could be a tree. And those, of course, those heart shaped noses, they are so beautiful. All those hearts for me. Thank you, boys. You're part of Team Girl now. I don't think they're too impressed with what I just said. 